Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be unbox unboxing the iPhone 13 Pro and also what's on my iPhone. Super excited for this video because I had an iPhone 11 and it literally like died. So I'm so excited to be unboxing a new one and actually having a phone that works. So let's unbox the iPhone. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it, gorgeous. All right, here it is in its glory. Oh. Look how pretty it is. Oh, so it doesn't come. Oh, it's the new charging thing. Charging thing so it doesn't come with that block. Okay, that's kind of annoying. It's the same like this, so it's fine. Designed by Apple. Wow, look at those sides. Look at that. Okay. So, okay, I've turned it on. Oh, cute. Look at that. Oh, okay, so it's not that charged. That's okay. Look how easy that is. Continue. Okay, so it is currently doing data right now from this phone to this phone. Shut up. So I got it all set up and I used the SIM card trans transferring thing because it worked so much easier than having it go from phone to phone and I don't know, it was a lot faster then. So yeah, let's get on to the what's on my iPhone portion of this video. Oh, in this case is from Amazon, I'll have it linked down below. So my home screen is just a photo of my sister and I from Turks and Caicos. Here is the first page of my iPhone. So I just have the normal things like setting, FaceTime, calendar, my photos, like camera, calculator, clock, and all that stuff in the mail. I have lots of mail. Yeah, I have lots of mail around, but yeah. Then I have notes, podcasts, then I have app store, maps, and then I have a weather folder. So I just have it with the weather and the weather channel. And then I have music, so I have just the regular music thing app. And then I have iTunes, Spotify, and Shazam. And then I have tracking. So this is Life360. Then I also have shortcuts in here because I didn't really know where else to put it. So it's in here. Then I have a YouTube, of course. I have this in my first page because I use it a lot, obviously. Then on the bottom row, I have messages. I messages, phone, Safari, and then I have this folder, which is all of the social things. All of the social things. So in here, you have TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Bitmoji, which like obviously goes with Snapchat. And then we have a YouTube studio, which is what I use to kind of look at my data and my videos and stuff like that. Now we move on to the second page and this one I think is so cute. As you can tell, I really wanted a kind of like brighter theme for summer and stuff. So I have like the bright pink phone and then I have everything kind of bright and that like pink, you know, which I think is so cute. All right, so um, I think these widgets are so cute. If you don't know already how to do them, I'll link the video I did of how to do iOS 14 in the icon. I don't know, but in the icon, I'll link it down below so you can watch that video. All right, so I have a school folder, which I can basically delete now because I'm finally in the summer. So I just had my infinite, I just had my like infinite campus, which is what I look at to see grades and attendance, stuff like that. I have Outlook. Then I have this other app, Socratic, which helps with answers sometimes. So yeah. Then I have Google Translate because I take Spanish. Then I have Photomath, which is also a really great app. Highly, highly recommend Photomath. Next I have things for my watch. So this is the, all the things that are just for my Apple Watch that I have. So the fitness and then the watch, and then here's Widget Smith. I have it on this. See, sometimes I have like things and like do. Like sometimes it's just like my apps are just in weird spots. So I try to be organized, but then I'm like, I know where to put it. So I just put it in a watch folder, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I just have that. So I don't know why. Widget Smith is how, it's just this thing, so yeah. I found out all of these photos for the widgets on Pinterest, so we'll go to my Pinterest page later. Then I have camera, they do things for my Canon, and this is also, oops, this is also things for my GoPro, so you can easily transfer photos from the camera to your phone, so sometimes I do that if like something's wrong with the memory card or stuff like that, but yeah. Then I have editing things, so I have Lightroom, and then I usually do all of my presets for basically anything, I just use it on Lightroom for my thumbnails and stuff, and then I have Mauled Eve or something, which I use to do my thumbnails as well, so I kind of do all of my thumbnails either on my phone or on my iPad, um, because 
it's just easier that way. Then I have Fonto, which is what I use to do like text and stuff on the thumbnails. Then I have Pixart, and then I have Visco. My Visco is like not that aesthetic. Um, I barely go to Visco, but it's kind of just all like Turks and Caicos photos. And next I have my games. So, here are all my games. I've actually deleted two because when I was doing nothing at school, I would just play games. So yeah, I have Design Home, which I've had for so long. I'm on such a high level. Let's see what level I'm on. I'm on level 39, see? Yep. Then I have Flip Diving, which I um, completed the whole thing. So just like I keep it. Then I have Stumble Guys, which is a really, really, really fun app. I highly recommend it. I was on, I was on such a high level before for this game. And then I got a new phone and all the information just tra didn't transfer over. Then I have Subway Surfers, of course, because obviously. I just recently re-downloaded that because I forgot how fun it is. Then we have stuff folders, which is a lot of stuff. So we have Starbucks, of course, and I'm embarrassed of how many rewards I have. So yeah, 740 star. Next I have Group Me, and then I have Netflix, of course, but I always, I never watch Netflix on my phone because it's just such a small screen. <laughs> then I have Game Changer, which is just to watch like baseball on my brother. Bear. Then I have Pinterest. So I love my Pinterest boards. We love them, okay. I have food, which is like all the things I kind of want to make and things. Then I have nails for like inspiration for nails and stuff. Then I have inspo for houses. Then I have um, things for my wedding. You already have to plan wedding inspo. Like we gotta get the ball rolling, you know what I mean? So I already have things of how I want my wedding to go. Then I have, I already have Christmas things for my widgets for Christmas. And then I have some room ideas if I wanna redo my room. Um, some hair and spell for how I want my hair to be. I have the Bible app, of course. I don't know why there's two game changers. I don't know. Then I have Amazon, of course, and then I have my Lifetime app because I have a membership there, of course, so I have to have that. Then I have extra things. So this is the Hallmark Movie Checklist app. Okay, so my list. I have watched 76% of the movie so far, so gotta get my ball rolling a little bit because I, I, we need that to be 100%. Then I have Etsy and selling on Etsy, which I do not really sell on Etsy or have stickers anymore or they're sold out. So um, next I have all the food stuff. So I have crumble cookies, of course. So here are today's and I love, I love the crumble cookie app. Um, I'm a loyalty girl. We've used a lot of our points, you know, halfway to get another. Then I have this app called, oh, it has to look, Secret Menu. So it's actually really cool. It's the secret menu things and you can unlock well, I'm not paying, but it gives you like secret menu items and things. Low carb pink drinks, and then it gives you the recipe for it, which I think is really cool. Like this one, red velvet cinnamon roll frappuccino. Damn, okay, that seems really cool. That looks really fun. Then I have DoorDash, of course, Starbucks. Wait, why do I have two, why do I have two Starbucks apps? Wait, what? I didn't know you could have two Starbucks apps. So I guess I'm just gonna delete this one. So weird okay uh, wait it deleted both of them okay <laughs> then I have uber eats of course and then I have a smiley face widget here are kind of like I just have these yeah I just change the widgets you know okay then I have this note it widget which I did with my sister but um, since I got a new phone then I have money so this is Venmo, PayPal, Zapple, Sheen, and Lululemon all the things I can spend money on or things that can get me money the money folder. Next I have IDK. This is the Note It, Google Apps, and Be Real. Then I have Zillow because I love just looking at like really big houses. Like this one is 8.75 million. You can't tell me this is gorgeous. So like yeah, just when I'm bored. Then I have Reddit, which I just recently downloaded because I needed to know all the tea about mom TikTok. The mom drama, the Mormon TikTok, the mom talk, all of that stuff. I had to download Reddit for it. So, I mean, here she is. So yeah, that is the end. So that is the end of today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and definitely make sure to subscribe for summer content and more. Comment summer videos you wanna see from me, and I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. Okay, bye guys.